Just under a year ago, I joined fanatic athlete Eric Olson on a Tour de EWS. You may have read about it, you may have seen something about it on social media, but he's doing it again. This time, he's off to Tasmania. He's got a bit of a new setup this year, and he's going to give us a quick rundown of what he's taking, how he set it all up, and what it's going to be all about. Okay, so before we dive into the bike packing specific things, I want to do a rundown of the bike itself that I'll be racing for the EDR races this year. It's a size large Orbea Rayon frame, the same that I used on Pink Bike Academy. I've got it in the high setting. I'm running Fox factory suspension. I've got the 38 at 170 mil DHX2 with a Sprindex adjustable coil that I have set to 450, but I can crank all the way up to 500 for touring. And if things are getting really fast, it's kind of a neat product. The cockpit, I'm running Chris King headset here, race face stem, bars, haze brakes, wolf tooth, light action lever, nuke proof, horizon, Sam Hill seat. And it's the same exact one that I ran last year. So I'm sticking with that. 200 mil Fox transfer post, race face cranks, the new era, Cascade Components Chain Guide, which is made here in Washington, the trusty SRAM GX11 speed, which is light, affordable, easy to find replacements for, and worked really well for me last year, so I'm sticking with that. It's a great product. Okay, moving on to the wheels. Super bling, Chris King hubs this year, the new We Are One rims. Schwalbe tires. Tried out a few different tires because I heard that it's pretty clayey in Medina. I ended up even trying a big Betty on the front, but I ended up back where I started, which is with the Eddy Current 2.6 in the front, and then the big Betty 2.4 in the rear, which is pretty much the same tire combo I've been running for the past three years. It works really well in all conditions. The reason I like the Eddy Current in the front is because it has a lot of surface area for like hard pack trails like bike park and things where are rocks that can be kind of slippery and you don't have any ability to dig into them with knobs but then you also have similar to the magic mary a really spiky nice uh, side knob so a good all condition front tire similar even to a maxis asagai um, and pretty slept on i think the eddy current is really sick tannis armor inserts nice and light and then one thing is last year i chose to run slick tires when I was riding between the races, and then I had an extra wheel set on my back, and I was switching back and forth. That was pretty silly. It really hurt my back. It was not worth the, the bit, and so I'm gonna just go with these tires. I will pump them up. Um, I'll probably pump them up to around 40 PSI or so. Between the Medina and Derby Tasmania races is about 250 miles along the coast, and I have a week to do it. Let's talk about pedals. I can talk about pedals all day. So last year, I had a little bit of knee pain and back pain. The back pain was from carrying an extra set of wheels and a whole laptop on my back. That's out, not doing that. I also had a bit of knee pain because my, uh, my shoes and my pedals were kind of worn out before I even left. So this year, I'm actually switching. I've, I've been trying Crank Brothers pedals, Mallet Ease in the long spindle, which seems to make my knees feel a lot better over a long day. And then also, like once they wear out, Shimano pedals, kind of your feet start to tip out as that outer face wears down. And these uh, don't have that issue. I'm stoked on also how they feel when I'm riding in a race, which is like more like a flat pedal. I've been riding back and forth with flat pedals a little bit more the past couple years and kind of wanted that feel in my clip pedals and Crank Brothers are really good for that. Uh, what am I forgetting? I think that's everything. So next step is to take this whole thing apart and put it in that bag and get ready to fly and hope I didn't forget anything super crucial. <laughs> I forgot my damn brakes. Uh. Thanks for checking out my bike today. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. My, my DMs are always open or leave a comment on this video. As always, thanks to Fanatic Bike Co. for supporting me, for building these wheels, providing so many of these components here in Bellingham, but a worldwide bike shop, you can order parts and uh, have them shipped 